I just had my hair cut yesterday and it's a little curly at the end here but once I wash my hair it will go back to straight hey guys hey crafters welcome to Anjurisa's crafting room in this video I will show you how to make this unique bow if you are a beginner in sewing and you want to make a bow but you don't want to make a classic rectangle bow this is the right video for you because this tutorial is totally for a beginner. Stay tuned! First, we are going to make the pattern for the bow. We actually only need a small piece of paper but I would say the paper size should be at least 8 inches, 8 inches in both sides. So we fold the paper in half and then fold it in half once again now I'm going to measure the paper it's about three inches three and a quarter inch like right here and two and a half inches right here say two and a half inches right here should be this way. Now we are going to draw a curvy part from this to this. It doesn't matter about the size, uh, about the shape. If you want to make it uh, rounder or curvier, just like this, it's okay. And you can imagine the size of the quarters shape of the bow. But I want to make it a slightly, slightly curvy like this it's really fine you want to make it curvy or less curvy it's really fine and then we are going to cut out the shape that we just draw after we cut the pattern we can get a beautiful shape beautiful symmetrical shape next is to prepare the fabric i am using a scrap fabric and for a beginner I always recommend you to use cotton fabric because it's the easiest to sew and I have tried to sew chiffon or genza it's the hardest fabric to sew even satin I would say it's slightly difficult so for a beginner I always recommend you to use cotton fabric because there are so many patterns that we can choose whether you want to use flower pattern stripe pattern Paul cutout pattern there are so many options for you to choose actually a few days ago I flipped the old photos in my Facebook page and I just realized that I haven't made any tutorial for this bow I actually made these bows about few years ago if I'm not mistaken it's about 2013 or 14 and I just make this tutorial about eight years or nine years later by the way, it's raining outside and I hope you can still hear my voice. Next, after you prepare the fabric, this is the thing that I rarely mention in my recent videos, but I always mention this in my old videos that the direction of the fabric is really important when we are working with fabric. If you want to sew a dress, a headband, a bow, or even a shirt, it's really important to determine the, sh the direction of the fabric so if you can see if you still have the edge of the fabric on your scrap fabric this is literally scrap fabric I sew a dress for my daughter with this fabric and this is so many left over here and I am using this for my bow and you can see that the, this is direction of the fabric the shape the direction of the, our fabric should be like this with the edge of fabric here so I don't recommend you to draw your bow like this or diagonally like this so I uh, I really recommend you to sew the bow like this because the direction of our fabric should be always going down like this so I have my scrap fabric here the direction of the fabric is right on the edge here so fold the fabric in half and I am going to draw the bow shape where is my this is water erasable marking pen so if you are new in sewing I really recommend to 
I really recommend you to buy a fabric marker if you want to use this water erasable or you want to choose this little chalk here it's really fine any fabric marker is fine but I really love this water erasable you just draw draw it on your fabric and then you can just wash it off with water let me show you you just spray some water and you can see that the marker is uh, almost uh, disappear but if you are making this if you are using this chalk it will disappear after after several wash after several wash it will disappear because it's not water erasable even i spray some water on this it still shows on the fabric so i really love this water erasable marking pen you can purchase this in the description below draw the bow shape now that after this fold the bow shape in half and we are going to draw a straight line in the center this is to make our fabric our bow have a really nice shape in the end it's so it's symmetrical on the left side and the right side after this I am going to sew this part make sure to leave an opening about an inch or two inches to be to make it easy make it two inches opening right here now i will start sewing from the line here about let's give it one inches here i will start sewing from here sew it right on the line that we just draw And if you want to adjust the fabric, make sure that the needle is down and then you lift up the presser foot and you can just adjust the fabric. So you can have a really straight line for the stitch. Just lift it up. Lift it up again and adjust the fabric. Now you can stop sewing until here and give it a back stitch to secure the thread. Okay, now as you can see, we sew it right on the line here and leave an opening. It's about an inch wide. Now we are going to cut the shape. Be careful not to cut through the thread. It's okay. Now we are going to clip every curvy part like this. Just clip it so when you turn the fabric, the fabric won't be too bulky because it's curvy inside. Just clip every curvy part. Okay. After this, this is really optional. If you want to make it sturdy, let me show you my bow. If you want to make it sturdy like this, you can insert a felt fabric or sponge inside. But if you doesn't if you don't have this little material you can just skip this part and this is the one that i made without any felt fabric inside or sponge inside and you can see the shape it's a little slouchy and it's not sturdy it's different from this you can see that i just hold the edge of the bow here and it's really sturdy as you can see this one is a little slouchy if you don't have this material felt fabric or sponge fabric it's really fine to skip this part so as you can see i didn't put anything inside here it's a little slouchy and i use felt fabric inside here i use this kind of felt fabric it's the easiest to find you can purchase this felt fabric from the link in the description and you can see that i use felt fabric here in this bow 
and this one is the one that I made with sponge fabric this is actually a sponge fabric to make pouch yes to make pouch and you can see that it's it's a little puffier it's a little puffier if you compare this with the one that I made with felt fabric so in this video I think I will use this sponge fabric I am going to fold the sponge fabric in half and then I will cut out the shape like this just cut it out we actually need to make the shape slightly smaller than the, the actual shape so we can have a really perfect uh, inside the bow after this I just remove the pattern and I just cut a little just just a little to make the pattern slightly smaller than the actual pattern just cut slightly smaller okay this is enough so the sponge fabric should be smaller than our stitch here so you can have a nice finish after this I'll just add just a little of the glue just a little to attach the sponge fabric to the to the bow wait I run out of the, the hot glue gun let's find a new just a little is fine if you because we don't want the bows too bulky at the end okay after you attach the sponge fabric it's time to turn the fabric inside out I turn it from the opening here just turn it carefully so you don't ruin the sponge fabric shape it's raining outside it's raining all day if I can say I live in Indonesia and it's raining almost every day twice a day after this you can just close the opening right here using a dab of glue to make it quick but if you want to make it uh, perfect you can just sew a straight line here I just use my glue to close the opening okay after this we can press oops oopsie after this we can press the fabric just give a little press so it's not a wrinkle on the fabric now as you can see this is the line that we draw at the beginning and I will say that this is the back side of the bow because if you can see the glue here it's a little visible so I am using this from as my front side of the bow so we just gather the fabric right in the center here in the line here just sew this and I will use the needle to secure the thread right here wait just secure the thread right here so if you do this the thread will be secured and it won't come off if you just pull it pull it hard so I just sew the fabric right in the center now we are going to pull the thread to make the bow shape and then just tie the bow one two three next is just secure the thread by tying it a few times okay 
Next, I'm going to attach a hair clip. Attach a hair clip at the back side of the bow. And there are two hair clips that you can find. This one is pricey. It's more pricey. And this one is more affordable. So if you are making this hair bow for your small business, make sure that you choose your own hair clip. Because yes, the price speaks the price speaks its quality this one is more pricey but yes it's more comfortable and this one is more affordable and it's it's yes it's comfortable but if you compare to this one this is more comfortable so i think i will use this one the one without the center part and some people ask me about how I attach my hair clip to the bow. So as you can see, the hair clip has two little holes here. What we are going to do is we attach a glue. We attach glue along the clip. Now for this, you can attach a more glue on the holes here. These holes will will make the hair clip more secure on our bow so I just attach this to the center make sure that you push push the glue out as you can see when we attach this to the bow the glue will comes out a little and that will hold the hair clip more secure and if you don't want to use the glue, you can attach a glue along the fabric, uh, along the clip right like this. And then you can sew the clip to the bow through this hole here. I'll just use this. Use a faster way to, to use a hot glue gun. Now make sure that you don't, you wait the glue until it dries. So it will be more secure to hold the clip this is the reason that i always fast forward my videos of attaching this hair clip because we have to wait about a minute to let it dry so it can hold the bow more secure this is why i always fast forward my videos as you can see after i let the glue dry these holes will hold the hair clip more secure next prepare a small piece of fabric the size is about six by three inches fold it in half with the right sides together and we are going to sew this part after this we just flip the fabric inside out just flip it inside out Now I'm going to fold the center piece like this to make a beautiful crease right in the center here or here you can see the crease here just fold it the same way like this and we are going to attach this to the center of the bow We are going to sew this part to sew the center piece of the bow i always move my needle to the to the left side and i am using a back stitch there's always a back stitch on your sewing machine you just sew it there you go as you can see we are going to cut the excess fabric and flip the center piece just flip it now after I flip the fabric you can see the beautiful crease here now I'm going to add a dab of glue to the center to make sure that the center piece stays in place just add a dab of glue right here 
And there you go. Our beautiful Hebel is finished. Thanks for watching this video. If you find this tutorial useful, please give me a thumbs up and share this video. If you don't, it's not a problem. Just hit the dislike button and tell me about what you don't like. See you in my next video. Bye!